Okay, we're on a job right now and we're actually stuck. So we picked up the mattress and these two things. Uh, the truck is having issues. Let me explain this really quick. Okay, so look, I do this. I turn it. There should this should be turning on right now. There we go. Oh, but nothing. Nothing. I put try to put the flashers on. Nothing works. Try to roll up and down these windows. Like the battery's dead. This drained it. Let's go ahead and take this sketchy shit out. Okay, so the lock is still on right there, but there's no key on it and it's running and check this out. We're good. He literally showed me a little trick you can do to fix it for now. And I'm so happy. I'm gonna mess with it when I get home, but I literally have the keys. But that, I'm just so glad I have my truck back, guys. Okay, it's future Travis. I'm gonna explain this and voice everything over. So a while ago we had our truck br got it got broken into right and now it costs me a thousand dollars to get that fixed they messed everything up they messed the steering column up and I couldn't turn the car on whatever whatever I paid a thousand dollars for these damn mechanics to fix it um and after we jumped the car I couldn't drive it because this whatever reason that triggered the safety light to come on and it totally locked my key up like I couldn't turn my key and I could not shift so that safety light that's what that does it locks your car up so you can't shift it um literally they put in the key ignition upside down and then they tried to blame it on me so i took it back up there and i had them put a new one in and fix it so it's totally back up now and right now we are actually at amazon as you can see i'm just talking um because that is the second job that i do as of now i just picked it up to pay for bills because we keep taking l's like this for whatever reason um, and it's honestly all due to the truck getting broken into literally like engine wise the vehicle is fine But just after that person broke into my truck, they've been effing up my life um, But whatever we're, we're gonna be fine guys um, Again, it kind of messed up our days messed up our week So it was a really slow week and it set us back a couple days because we need to do jobs every day But anyways, um, I'll get back to the video We're headed to the dump right now. So the stuff you saw me loading, like the couches and stuff, that's actually just personal stuff. We have a full load scheduled for today and we had some leftover junk, that fridge and that mattress. Um, but I know we're gonna need that space and I need to throw out some of those, that outside furniture. I mean, that's my stuff, but just to show you guys what it looks like to uh, load that stuff up. I I'll put it in there. All right, guys, we're at the dump now. It wasn't too much. I explained to her it's really just like a fridge and two couches because that's pretty much all it is. Um, so she charged me 32, which is very reasonable where I'm at. Um, so I'm totally happy with that. I would have been happy with 52, but. <clears throat> um, yeah, I've actually been a little sick, guys. So if I sound a little funny, that's why. Um, I'm still kind of under the weather right now, but ain't, ain't gonna stop us. And where's all the boys at? Usually, we got the homies over here. All right, guys, we're um we're headed out right now. Uh, we actually just dropped off our employee at his car. He met us at this job. Again, I always forget to record when I have an employee. Um, we actually totally finished the job up. I quoted him at 320 because it really wasn't a full load. And if we stacked it, 
even better. It could have been a little less. Paid our employee 40. It took a little over an hour. Um, and then the dump fee was 62 on that one. And it was literally two minutes away from my house. So there's literally like nothing in gas. The profit comes out to a little over 200. So like 230, 240-ish. Um, and that's great. That job literally took a little over an hour and that's perfect. So there you go. You could work eight hours or you can do this. And we just finished that job. Uh, he ended up tipping us $20. Um, so I quoted him at 320 because it wasn't a full load and it was a garage pickup. So I usually do $30 off, which puts him at 350 and then it wasn't a full load. So I put him at 320 and then he tipped, um, paid 40 to our employee and 62 to the dump. So 230 to 40-ish profit. Of course, we, there's other fees. Um, and that job came from Google Maps. So again, that's a totally free lead. So I just got done leaving a cafe um, and I was actually meeting with a property manager and now this guy seems really friendly. You know, most property managers are like kind of like slum lords and they don't want to pay anything and they want to go with the cheapest even though the cheapest guy sucks. And I'm saying this from experience, guys. I used to be a property manager. I used to work in that field and I hated it. I hated lowballing people. Um, but my basically my mentor told me, hey, hit this guy up and meet with him. And I was like, okay. Like I didn't want to, but I think it went well. I'm networking with people and I enjoyed talking to that guy. He just seemed really nice. The older gentleman seemed like he had good morals, not property manager morals. Um, and again, guys, I should talk property managers because I used to work for a company and literally like somebody's house got shot up and they wouldn't let the people move out. So it's like, yeah, I don't, and we would always go for the cheapest guys and then have to pay more because the cheapest guys mess things up. You know, you can't be the best and be the cheapest. Um, so yeah, guys, right now we are headed to go do a job. Um, and I gotta see where I'm going. Okay guys, I don't think I'm gonna get that job. I ended up quoting at 950. Um, he didn't sound too happy with it, so I'm probably not gonna get it. Again, tell me if you guys think that's too much. I think it's reasonable. I think a lot of you guys would be over 1K. Um, I know for me, I could maybe fit that in one load, but I would be overloading my trailer way too much. That stuff, it might not have looked heavy, but it was heavy. There's concrete and heavy metal piping in it, and it, it just costs a lot. So two loads, that's 380 each and I'm gonna have to hire an employee so that's that's gonna I'm estimating that's gonna be six hours um six to eight hours because hand unloading and hand loading that stuff is gonna take a long long time and then the dump that's nearby takes a long time too um so total expenses would be around 500 I could get a skid steer but I have no way of towing it out to the property because I have a single axle utility trailer. So construction debris isn't my specialty because of the utility, my limited equipment. But I still think regardless, 950 is reasonable from an actual business perspective. Um, tell me what you guys think. Again, probably not going to get it, but who knows? I would, I would love to do that job.